Morning, everybody. Once again, at this time, will sergeants please start their recording? PC recording started. Thank you. All recording started. Thank you. Backup is good. Thank you. And Sergeant Hope, if you could start with your opening. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Um, welcome to today's New York City Council virtual vote on general welfare. At this time, will all panelists please turn on your videos? Thank you. To minimize disruption, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent mode. Chair, Chair we are ready to begin. Thank you, Sergeant. Good morning, everybody, uh, and welcome to this vote on the City Council's Committee on General Welfare. Today, the committee will be voting on two bills concerning the city's rental assistance program and source of income discrimination. Proposed intro 1339A, sponsored by Councilmember Diane Ayala would provide written notice to those potentially eligible for city rental assistance programs and inform them of their rights and resources available related to source of income discrimination. Proposed intro 2080A, which I'm sponsoring, would allow online access to rental assistance program status so that clients can know where their case stands rather than navigating through the bureaucracy of having to call HRA. The bills we are voting on today will make the process of obtaining rental assistance more user friendly and ensure that clients know their rights, <clears throat> know their rights. Rental assistance vouchers are the primary tools that we have in the city to ensure that the that people are able to move out of shelter and into housing. Vouchers can also assist New Yorkers at risk of losing their housing and avoiding eviction and entry to shelter. However, the confusing bureaucracy of securing government benefits as well as voucher holders not knowing their rights when landlords illegally deny them housing based on the source of income discrimination are barriers to securing housing. I believe that the legislation included in today's vote will make strides to promote equity in housing by removing some of the barriers to keeping people from securing or maintaining their apartments. I also hope that these bills will bring us a step closer to passing intro 146 which would raise the voucher levels for the fair market rent as set by the HUD standard so that individuals and families are able to quickly exit the shelter system into housing and avoid or avoid entering the, the system altogether. And I want to thank all the co-sponsors of intro 146 as well. Uh, I want to thank all the advocates, members of the public and those with lived experience who have testified in favor of these bills that we're voting on today. And at this time, I'd like to turn it to my colleague, Councilmember Diana Ayala, for a statement on her bill, proposed intro 1339A. And before I turn it over to uh, my colleague, I'd just like to thank my staff, Jonathan Boucher, Chief of Staff, Elizabeth Adams, Legislative Director and Committee Staff, Aminta Kilowan, Senior Counsel, Crystal Pond, Senior Policy Analyst, Natalie Omari, Policy Analyst, and Frank Sarno, Finance Analyst. Councilmember Royala. Good morning, everyone. I just wanna thank Chair Levin and um, you know, I'm really excited to be passing this bill today. It actually, you know, was drafted um, a little while ago and, you know, intro 1339 is very simple. Um, and yet I'm hoping that it will be really impactful. Um, it is a bill that will ensure that when a, a, a voucher, a city FEPS voucher uh, recipient is handed that voucher, that they're also uh, handed literature and educated on what their rights are in terms of income discrimination. Um, unfortunately, and I'm sure this is not unique to my office, we see a lot of, of, uh, of apartment seekers that come here and say, I've had this voucher for months, I've been looking and looking and I keep getting turned down because no one accepts it. Um, and then we have to sit down and, and explain, you know, that they, you know, they've in fact uh, been misled by landlords that, you know, are just, you know, plain old discriminating against them. And so I'm hoping that this bill will help empower um, voucher holders and really turn the tides against, you know, these landlords who have been really capitalizing off of the, uh, the fact that most people are just not knowledgeable on what the law is regarding income discrimination. So I want to thank, you know, the chair and I want to thank the staff for helping us draft this bill and, you know, all of the advocates who have reached out and participated to some degree. i um, really excited about it and I really, you know, hope to be back next year and, um, and kind of weigh in and see how effective it's been. Thank you. Thank you so much, Councilman Rayala, and thank you for this legislation. Um, and with that, I'll turn it over to um, uh, to the vote. Um, uh, should I turn it over to Council Kilowan? Uh, 
Absolutely. Or am I turning it over to, to, to William Martin, legislative clerk? Yes, sir. Thank you. Good morning. William Martin, committee morning. clerk. Roll call vote committee on general welfare introductions 1339A and 2080A. Both items are coupled. Chair Levin. I vote aye on all. Gibson. Sorry. Good morning, everyone. Congratulations, Chair Levin and Councilmember Ayala on really good bills on today's agenda. I vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Councilmember Lander. I vote aye. Gorenchik. Aye. Holden. I vote aye. Salamanca. I vote aye. Thank you. Uh, Council member Torres. I vote aye. Thank you. A vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, I want to thank all of my colleagues for their vote today uh, and all staff that has worked on this as well. Um, and with that, this hearing is adjourned. Chair, Chair, Chair can you open oh. just a minute to see if uh, Councilmember Torres can log in? Oh, I'm sorry. We're waiting for, oh, sorry, we're still waiting for Councilmember Torres? Yeah. He uh, was, we got Councilmember Torres. Yeah, Councilmember hey, Torres voted. Excuse me, I meant Councilmember Traeger. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, Councilmember Traeger. Okay. Sure, I can, I can, um, I'll, I'll stay here, um, but my colleagues who've already voted can, you know, go and do whatever other business they're looking to do. Thank you. Thank um, you all. Can CM Lander please stay uh, in the Zoom call? Thanks, Steve. Thank you. Bye. See you later. Thanks, Joanna. Bye, everybody. See you later. Hello. Uh, Uh, Billy, we Council have Member. Council Member Traeger. Great. Uh, Council Member Traeger? I motion 1339A and 2080A. You both vote aye. Thank you, sir. Uh, vote is now eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstention. Wonderful. Okay. Um, so.